today we're going to make some fondant farm animals. And instead of doing them on a cake, I thought we would just make a little scene. We're just going to use a 7-inch cardboard cake circle. So we could actually make the scene on here. If we wanted to later, we could place it on a cake. So what I want to do is um, you can either cover this with, um, with a food-grade foil or whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to take, this is just black electrical tape. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tape around the edge. Everyone's always kind of fascinated when I do this. They're like, what? what'd you put around the edge? So I thought I'd go ahead and show you. It's just black electrical tape. It also comes in different colors, white and other colors. And I do this a lot for my classes. Okay, so we'll just tape it around the edge like this. And then all this inside part we're going to fill in with either graham crackers for the, or um, royal icing for the grass. Okay, so this is all ready to go. Another thing we're going to need is I want to have, we're going to do the fondant animals, but I wanted to have a backdrop, and I wanted it to be, of course, what else but a barn. So I thought we'd do it in uh, coating chocolate, which are the little discs that you can get at um, your local cake supply stores or even some craft stores carry the, the little discs. Now for a uh, little template, what I did is I just went online and I put in cartoon, uh, cartoon barn and got a whole bunch of things that came up and I needed just a straight figure so I, I went ahead and I printed both of these uh, and I think I'm going to go with the larger size. It's always good to print a couple of different sizes and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this out. Okay, and then I'll have my little backdrop here. And it might even be a little too small. I might actually make it a little bit bigger by just tracing around it a little bit, but we'll, we'll do, deal with that in a few minutes. Okay, so what I want to do is I use a red coating chocolate, and I've already melted this one down, so let me just pour some out. This is all I did. This is on a piece of parchment paper on a uh, cookie sheet, and I just went ahead and spread this out. You don't want it to be too thin, and I want to try to keep it, this one, in more of a rectangular shape. The first one I just did kind of in a round shape. What I do is I just take the sheet here like this and just kind of flop it around. And depending when you need to use this, you can either sit it out overnight and it'll set, which is what I did on this one, or you can put it in the refrigerator or freezer if you need it to set a little bit faster. Okay, so I can just go ahead and put this one aside. This one I did, like I said yesterday. So this is the back side. This is the front side right here. And it looks like my paper was a little bit wrinkled. That's why it's, the, it's mimicked it on the chocolate. So make sure that your paper is actually flat when you, when you uh, put the chocolate on it. Mm -hmm. 